the day the giraffe tried to play hide and seek. Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a friendly and curious giraffe named Jerry. Jerry loved to play games with his animal friends, but there was one game he had never tried before, hide and seek. One sunny day, Jerry gathered his animal pals, including Ellie the elephant, Larry the lion, and Sammy the zebra, to introduce them to the exciting world of hide and seek. The animals agreed, eager to join in the fun. They all gathered in a clearing, ready to begin the game. Jerry, with his long neck towering over the others, volunteered to be, it, first. He closed his eyes, counted to ten, and began his search. The other animals quickly scampered away, finding clever hiding spots in the tall grass, behind trees, and even up in the branches. Jerry opened his eyes, ready to unleash his hide-and-seek skills. He turned around and spotted Ellie's large trunk sticking out from behind a rock. Chuckling to himself, Jerry called out, I see you, Ellie. Ellie giggled and joined Jerry as they continued their search. They found Larry hiding behind a tree, his bushy mane giving him away. You're not very good at hiding, Larry. Jerry teased, laughing. The search continued, and Jerry's long neck allowed him to spot Sammy peeking out from the stripes of another zebra. Nice try, Sammy! Jerry exclaimed. I found you! But as Jerry continued his hunt, he realized that finding his friends was becoming increasingly difficult. He peered into the tall grass, only to see a field filled with other long-necked giraffes who looked just like him. Oh no! Jerry exclaimed. This is going to be tricky. Jerry approached the nearest giraffe, thinking it was his friend Larry. Gotcha, Larry! He said triumphantly, only to realize that it was actually a different giraffe named Barry. Oops, sorry, Barry. Jerry apologized, feeling embarrassed. Jerry wandered through the herd of giraffes, calling out his friends' names and hoping to find them. But to his surprise, every giraffe he encountered was a new face. The other animals watched from their hiding spots, trying to stifle their laughter. Finally, after what seemed like forever, Jerry spotted a familiar black and white pattern among the tall grass. It was Sammy. I found you, Sammy. Jerry exclaimed, relief washing over him. Sammy grinned and said, Jerry, you found me just in time. I was starting to think you'd never find us in this sea of giraffes. Jerry chuckled and admitted, I have to say, Sammy, I never knew there were so many giraffes out here. But thanks to your stripes, I spotted you. The friends reunited and gathered the other animals, who had been laughing and giggling at Jerry's hilarious search for his friends. They all shared a good laugh together, realizing that even in the vastness of the savanna, true friendship could never be hidden. From that day forward, Jerry's friends nicknamed him the Giraffe Seeker. Whenever they played hide and seek, Jerry would always be the first to spot them, using his newly acquired skill of finding hidden animals among the herd. And so, the tale of, the day the giraffe tried to play hide and seek, became a legendary story passed down through the generations of animals, reminding them that even in the most amusing mishaps, friendship and laughter would always prevail. The End The Monkey Who Loved to Wear Sunglasses Once upon a time, in a lush and vibrant jungle, there lived a mischievous little monkey named Max. Now, Max was no ordinary monkey. He had a peculiar fascination with sunglasses. Yes, you heard it right, sunglasses. Every day, as the sun rose in the sky, Max would scurry around the jungle, searching for the most stylish and colorful sunglasses he could find. He would try them on, one by one, hopping from branch to branch, and admiring himself in the reflection of a sparkling river. Max's friends in the jungle found his sunglasses obsession quite amusing. They would often gather around him, laughing and teasing him about his ever-growing collection. But Max didn't mind their playful banter. He believed that wearing sunglasses made him look cool and confident. One sunny morning, as Max was parading around the jungle in his latest pair of neon green sunglasses, he spotted something glimmering high up in a tree. Curiosity sparked within him, and he climbed up the tree with nimble agility. To his surprise, he discovered a hidden treasure trove of sunglasses nestled in the branches. The tree seemed to be a secret stash of sunglasses left by a jungle explorer long ago. Max's eyes widened with excitement as he realized he had struck sunglasses gold. 
Max tried on pair after pair, twirling around in delight. He wore oversized sunglasses that made him look like a movie star, and tiny sunglasses that made him look like a secret agent. He even found a pair with built-in disco lights that lit up the jungle as he danced. News of Max's sunglasses discovery spread like wildfire through the jungle, and animals from near and far flocked to see his incredible collection. The jungle became a vibrant spectacle of sunglasses in every shape, size, and color imaginable. One day, while Max was showing off his sunglasses to a group of amazed animals, a wise old owl named Oliver landed nearby. Oliver had seen many peculiar things in his time and had a wealth of knowledge. He hooted softly and said, Max, my young friend, your sunglasses collection is impressive indeed. But remember, true beauty lies within. It's not the sunglasses that make you special, it's your playful and adventurous spirit. Max pondered Oliver's words and realized that his love for sunglasses had overshadowed his true essence. He understood that he didn't need sunglasses to be cool or confident. It was his personality and zest for life that made him unique. From that day forward, Max decided to share his sunglasses with his friends. He handed out sunglasses to each animal, encouraging them to embrace their own style and express themselves freely. The jungle transformed into a fashion parade, with animals donning sunglasses and strutting their stuff. As the sun set over the jungle, Max stood on a branch, surrounded by his friends, all wearing sunglasses of their own. They laughed and danced, embracing their individuality and celebrating the joy of friendship. And so, the tale of, the monkey who loved to wear sunglasses, became a legendary story passed down through generations in the jungle. It taught the animals that true confidence comes from within and that embracing one's uniqueness and spreading joy is the most fashionable thing one can do. The End